MAMP installs a local server environment on your computer. MAMP allows you to run Apache, an open source HTTP web server, MySQL, the most commonly used relational database system, and PHP, the most commonly used programming language for creating websites, all with a click of a button. Open up your favorite web browser. Go to mamp.info. The link is in the description. Click the download button. You may or may not need MAMP Pro. If you're just starting out, then just stick with MAMP. This download may take some time depending on your internet speed. Once it's downloaded, open up the download and install it. Click continue, continue again, continue again, and agree to the terms and conditions. Depending on if you need MAMP Pro, you can install it here. If not, untick the box. Click install, enter in your computer's login details, click close, MAMP is now installed. Open up MAMP by going to applications folder, opening MAMP. It's a good idea to customize MAMP to your liking. To do this, open up preferences. There are four tabs to choose from. I like to set the favorite link to whichever website I'm working on currently. In this instance, it will just be the root folder forward slash is fine or leave it blank. In this instance, we won't be using MAMP Pro, so uncheck that. And we want the servers to start when MAMP starts. In the ports tab, you can either leave this blank or set web and MySQL ports to 80 and 3306. I'll set it to that. PHP version is fine. Now we want to set the document root. I'm going to create a websites folder where I will store my website. I'm going to put this in my documents folder. Hit select and OK. Now it's time to start the web server. You'll need to type in your password and it's live. MAMP is active. Now if I click on my favorite link, you'll see that it's blank, but it is working. So now we need to install WordPress or whichever PHP application you want to be running. In this instance, I'm going to be installing WordPress in the websites folder. I'm going to create a new folder for this. Now you have to download WordPress from wordpress.org. Go to wordpress.org, the link is in the description. Click the download WordPress button. Once that's downloaded, extract the zip file. Now we're going to drag that folder to the websites folder that I created before and we can replace the existing folder because there is nothing in there. Now if we go back to index and refresh the page, you'll see that WordPress folder has been created. And then when we click on that folder, WordPress starts. This is where we will now set up WordPress. So select your language and click continue. Click let's go. We will need to set up a new database for this WordPress install, so we will head over to phpMyAdmin and set up a database there. Go to phpMyAdmin in the Tools menu, click on Databases, and we will create a new database. I'm going to call it Development, click Create, and that's it. That's the database set up. So now we can set the database name to development and we'll be using the default username and password, which is root, R-O-O-T, for both username and password. Hit submit and that should be good and ready to go. Click the run install. Now you need to set up the site title and username for WordPress. So I'm going to use the site title web3 and username web3. I'll keep the password as is and I'll put in my email address. Obviously you would put your own details in here. Click install WordPress. I'll save it in my browser. Log in and that's set up, ready to log in.
now we have reached the back end of WordPress. So WordPress is set up and running on your local machine. If we go back to the WordPress folder that we installed before, all the files that you want to be editing are in the wp-content folder. You can see that there is a themes folder. In that themes folder is where you will edit the visuals of your website. If we go back, there is a plugins folder and this is where the plugins for your website are stored. If this video was helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up and if you would like to see more, hit the subscribe button.